Percy had broken down. Victor was pushing him back to the steamworks to be repaired. He uncoupled Percy's up, up and away balloon car and pushed Percy into the works. Percy was moved into Victor's spinning fix repair machine. He was really looking forward to seeing him along the rails again. However, I think I spotted Tom Moss the prank engine outside, hiding in the tunnel. Why are you here? What do you have done, Tomas? <laughs> the machine started turning. It got faster and faster. Whoa! Percy's screws started falling out. And faster than it got, the more screws that fell out. Whoa! Whoa! Eventually, the machine stopped. Percy felt very giddy. Victor pulled Percy out, but with no screws holding him together, he just fell apart. Poor Percy. Bits everywhere. Tom Moss, the prank engine, you would change the spin and fix into a spin and fall apart, didn't you? You naughty engine. <laughs> Victor then pulled Percy's parts away to put together again. The other engines heard of Percy's problem and came to see what they can do. Wait a minute. What's happened to Percy's balloon? Someone's let it down. Tom, what do you have done with all the heat? <laughs> oh no. The engines then heard a familiar <laughs> laugh and caught a glimpse of Thomas hiding in the tunnel. Uh oh. Tom, steam off quickly, James by Thomas, Toby, James, Gordon, and Henry. He made it back to his lair in the forest where there was no one else there adventure. Victor had finished putting Percy back together again. He was good as new. And that naughty engine Thomas spent the day thinking up some more naughtiness. 